Okay, so this is going to be Brian Laundrie's dad and his mom. Do they know where he is? Are they hiding him? If you like the video, I hope you do like it. And if you um, haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. You know, the laundries seem to have relocated to Florida like so many Northerners do, and um, so you wonder, I mean, apparently Brian and his uh, and Gabby were living there with them before they went on this trip. So what do we know? You know, the thing is, is that um, they left from the parents' home in Florida, that nice yellow bungalow that we've all seen on television. They television. They headed off uh, for their uh, adventure after they uh, went to a family's uh, event uh, where they were raised. Uh, they were in Gabby's uh, Ford uh, converted van, I suppose it is. Van, I suppose it is. He flew back uh, to his uh, to his home uh, alone, without without her. And so you have to wonder, what's that about? What is his dad hiding? Is he hiding something? His when he was looking at the FBI, that didn't look um, honest. And his honest. And his mother, why, haven't she, why hasn't she been just beside herself trying to find out where her son is? Um, the Appalachian Trail, it's a place that he knows very well. And it's a place that a lot of people can get lost. So what do you think? What does the dad know? So these are Los Scarabio cards. This is the Visa Versa Tarot. And uh, I'm going to tell you, the, the folks who have this idea have some difficult names, but I'm going to try to get through it. So Massimiliano Filadoro. Lunea Weatherstone and the artwork by David Corsi. So nice, nice, nice cards. They've got that cool kind of magnetic clasp that's really neat to get. The box, if you gave it as a gift or if you received it, you think, wow, this was a very thoughtful gift. They've got all these nice little pulls that you can unpack everything easily with. And the uh, guidebook is a color guidebook, easy to read, um, and lots of thought and intention into these uh, suggestions for the divinations that you can use. Um, the cards, and again, have this nice little pull that you can get them out of the box with. But what I really love about these cards, well, it intimidated me for a long time, actually, is that there's no front and there's no back. There's so this side, which is indicated by the little embellishment on the right hand side of the, of the card. And then there's a that side, which is indicated by a little embellishment, embellishment on the left side of the card. So you kind of get the idea that this is um, um, the, and there's no right and there's no wrong, there's no good and there's no bad. It's just that um, a different um, view on how to divide this card when it comes up. So the problem with them is that when you're shuffling them, you know, you know, once you've dealt your cards, you know what's going to be on the other side because, you know, it's there. So, you know, you're going to know that this is a uh, King of Cups uh, right away. Uh, if that doesn't bother you, if you can divert that from your mind, the cards are beautiful. And uh, so you see that the artwork goes right to the edge. Um, they give you nice hints uh, on the cards as to how they, uh, what they are. Because so, sometimes that can be an issue when you're trying to figure out uh, how to use these cards. And it doesn't matter which way you put them out because there's a this and a that side and uh, you've got uh, work, things to work with. So it's almost like you're getting two decks of cards in one. And uh, it used to intimidate me, but now I love using these cards. And uh, they're glossy, they're easy to use, they slide off of each other, but not too in a bad way. And um, I like to spread them out like this so that uh, or if I have a reading for someone, let them spread them out so that people kind of get their energy into the cards. And so this is the this and that, uh, vice versa tarot. And uh, I love them. Okay, so this is going to be the father. Brian Laundrie's dad. His mom. You know, the sister has come out and and... Kind of just wants to be left alone, I guess. She said what she has to say and apparently doesn't know a lot. But the dad, the
the mom. Why? I know they've done a little bit. You know, they took them out to this uh, area to see what the favorite uh, places were that he might have gone. But, you know, I, I believe the police feel like that's just a diversion, just something to show that they're they're kind of cooperating. And maybe it was more an opportunity for them to have conversation with the father. The mother, if your son was missing, wouldn't you be going crazy? I mean, would you be drawing all the attention you could, like like Gabby's parents are doing? So, the father, the mother, the father. Why? Why is that so mixed up? What do they know? And how could they go on a little mini vacation with him after he shows up without Gabby? This will be a full Celtic cross, but we'll take six cards to begin with. I like these cards, this vice versa tarot, because this seems like a vice versa situation. You know, it seems like um, there's a side that's not being shown. And uh, I hope these cards help us uh, flesh this out. A signifier card for the dad. Broken heart. Of course it's a broken heart. He knows what's going on. This is my intuition. Challenged by secrets being revealed. Of course. The secrets that he does not want known. The base of the reading is the Ten of Cups. And you know, in the Ten of Cups is happy family. Everybody's in love. And look at this couple. This could easily be Brian and Gabby uh, on their nature adventure. You know, by a stream. I've got to tell you, water has been featured in the previous video I did uh, regarding this, and uh, and this just draws my attention. The past of this reading. Uh, so this is the number two card. This is the High Priestess. Okay, but look, she's got her back to us. You know, she's not telling us what she knows. And again, we've got to cross this this um, pool of water before we can get to her and find the keys to the truth and the light. Okay? The sky of this reading for the Father is the Six of Wands. So this is what he's shooting for. He's shooting for a victory. He wants to be able to celebrate somehow uh, things coming out for his son. The likely outcome of this, ah, moving out of troubled water. Okay? So this Six of Swords um, uh, talks about uh, getting into a boat and moving on across water to somewhere that's safer. What is that telling us? Is he even still in the United States still? For these last four cards, I'm just not sure what I want to ask. We started out talking about the Father, and I guess I'll finish up with that. So what is the self? What is the self of this father. But I've got to tell you, I've got a question in the back of my mind that wants to say, has he tried to leave the United States for somewhere across the water? So what is the self of this question? Help me figure out where I need to focus this question. Is it the father or is it Brian moving on to somewhere else? Okay. We've got the two of wands. The two of wands, two of wands is always short term plans, okay? And that's all he can make right now. Something he can do now to stay out of trouble. You know, this is, a, is an authoritative figure. This is a gray-haired gentleman. He's holding a, a, a globe in his hand. And uh, so I'm going to say that this is short-term plans. I think this is going to combine the father and the plan for him to try to get somewhere else. What is that in the environment of? It's in the environment of the Seven of Swords lies. Thievery, deception. And look at this. Behind this bush, there's a skull in a, in a, in a, in a, a helmet. So that's what this is in the environment of. The hopes and the fears for all of this. Ah, uh, this is the devil card, okay? This is being chained to ill intention, bad, bad omens. 
And the final outcome for this, I think this is a combination of the father and the plan to save their son. Ah, uh, this is the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups speaks to happy family, uh, really having everything that you want. But I want you to notice here that this is an angel in the sky. I think this is Gabby. She's gone, and this is not attainable anymore. And this, if you notice between these balustrades, is, is set against uh, water. So, for me, uh, let's go over it again. So, we start out with the signifier card, it's a broken heart, and it's challenged by secrets being revealed, okay? Or maybe in this case, secrets being kept. Uh, the It's underpinned by the Ten of Cups, which is happy family, everything's rainbows. This could easily be Gabby and Brian, uh, but look, all of these emotions are immersed in water. The past of this reading is the High Priestess with her back turned to us, okay? She's looking off into the horizon. She's looking towards where Brian is. She knows. And you, again, you've got to cross this water of emotion to get there and pick up these keys to unlock that mystery. In the sky of this is what they're hoping for. They want victory. They want to somehow find some sort of, look at the dark sky, some sort of a dark victory where they can, and they're sending this person off. This isn't the view from the front, and I'll show you the view from the front. This is the view from the front, but this is a view from the back, okay? They're hoping to send this person off towards a victory. The likely outcome of all of this is the uh, Six of Swords uh, moving uh, out of troubled water. Water, water, water. The self of this question, what I'm trying to determine is, are we going to talk about the father? Are we going to talk about um, him, uh, where Brian's gone to? And we've got the two of wands, which is short-term plans. And this is a, a an old man, gray-haired man, holding the globe and trying to make a decision about where this future lies. And it's in the environment of deception, the seven of swords. The hopes and the fears for this, this is the devil's playground. Okay, This is fraught with ill intention from the beginning of their trip until now. I don't think it was a planned situation what happened, but it was it was soaked with, um, I believe, uh, a, a drug um, background. And now um, it's just the devil's work. And then in the sky of this reading, the best that the outcome can be, we've got the Nine of Cups and we see Gabby floating like an angel above all those beautiful intentions that were expected. Again, if you look through these balustrades into, you know, there's a, there's an ocean right there. And um, I think she's looking down on Brian right now. That's what I see in this. I've got to tell you, this feels like one of the most accurate uh, readings that I've done about this. And I've, uh, I'll just go over it again for you. So it started out with a signifier of a broken heart. Couldn't be more appropriate. It's challenged by what? Secrets being revealed or perhaps secrets being kept. It's underpinned by these lovers on a beach and all of their emotions are, are sought down into a river of, of passion. The past of this is the high priestess with their back turned to us and the only way you can access this high priestess is to cross this river, pick up those keys that are right there to see what the future is and where is she looking? Is she looking towards where Brian is? The sky of this was the hope for celebrations and these people are sending this uh, victor off for his celebration. The likely outcome for the first part of that, traveling out of troubled water. The signifier for the self of the question is this wizened old man making some sort of a short-term plan. It's in the environment of Deception, plain and simple. And the hopes and the fears is nothing more than the devil's playground. And then the final outcome, for me, this is Gabby looking down. She knows where he is. That was one of the questions I asked in my meditation for this, is if, if Gabby could help us uh, know the answer. She knows where he is. And it's all, she's left behind all those cups of passion, all those cups of emotion, and, and looking over that ocean that you can see, clearly see through the balustrades of that, that uh, banister. That's what I think. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.